If you don't have any material from the course, then what you could do is, a good thing to prepare you is read the Dental Dex Part 2. Now, what I would recommend from the Dental Dex Part 2, maybe pathology, perio is pretty good in the Dental Dex Part 2. Pharmacology is not good in the Dental Dex Part 2, to be honest, but if you read it, it still helps you um, prepare for pharmacology. And the way I say that is that you'll get confused from it, but then when you get into a course, you find all the solutions and it kind of gives you the aha moment. Um, however, you know, if you're taking a course and they provide you with the material early, as we do here, usually um, for students, we give them the material before, and, they, and I recommend that they read the basic science because that will prepare them best for the pharmacology. And if they finish that, they could read um, the pharma as well. And if they finish, then you could either read the f other books or reread the basic science in the pharma because those are usually the difficult subjects or the, the, the subjects people find difficult. Um, and I tell them try not to answer questions on your, own, on your own. And I tell them try not to answer questions on your own um, because they could, a lot of them start to go to Facebook groups and look for answers and, and I wouldn't recommend that because they start to adopt answers that probably are wrong and they get used to that answer. So I, I, I'll just recommend reading without going to answering questions.